How many years have you done 35 to 40 deals in a row? Oh, probably, I'll probably, I'll probably do it every year. Yeah. For how long? 20 years. Okay, and so then, and you want to do more, is what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay, so you've been doing this a really long time. You probably know, you know, kind of the ins and outs of the business. You probably realize that business is unlimited and it's all predicated on how much you can handle at a certain point because there's always more than you can handle if you want it. So my question would be, why don't you just do more? <laughs> Is real estate the only thing you do? Do what now? Is real estate your only job? Real estate's my only job. Okay. Um, and so you, how many years have you done 35 to 40 deals in a row? Uh, probably, I probably, probably do it every year. Yeah. For how long? 20 years. Okay. And so then, and you want to do more? Is what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay. So. You've been doing this a really long time. You probably know, you know, kind of the ins and outs of the business. You probably realize that business is unlimited and it's all predicated on how much you can handle at a certain point because there's always more than you can handle if you want it. So my question would be, why don't you just do more? <laughs> uh, you know, a very well said statement, okay. Uh, it, it's probably, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty diligent person in the way it is, okay? I, I'm probably, I don't know if some people would consider me old school. I've always been one of those kind of people that, uh, you know, I do a lot of expireds. Uh, I, I never, I never really ever chase Fizbo's. I just never enjoyed working Fizbo's. But I generally am always the, the top, if not the top agent, individual agent. I'm not talking about the guys that are teams, but I'm always the number one guy in the office typically yeah um, i just i just i only have so many hours in a day and 
I worked a lot of hours, but I think I, I think I can take it to the next level. And I guess what I was intrigued by was, uh, you know, maybe the kind of prospecting that you, you do, you know, with your circle prospecting. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, I, when I first got trained in the business, I went through a Floyd Wickman class, and, you know, you, you know, you used to get up in the morning, and, you know, when you'd go to work, you'd make, you'd make 100 phone calls or five appointments. That was the general rule. And then, uh, then the no-call thing came around. Everybody got spooked on that. Um, by that time, I'd already had some, some good builders, and I didn't have to do as much cold calling. And, and so, I don't know. It's just been a, bit, a lot of years since I've done a lot of cold calling. And uh, I'm just now getting back in it. But you and, said uh, that you do a lot of expireds. Yeah, I do do a lot of expireds. Okay, so, uh, you, but you're, you're saying you have, it's been years since you've done cold calling, so which is it? Uh, well, a little bit of both. I mean, what I mean when I say cold calling, uh, I'm talking about, you know, uh, you know, going into a neighborhood and, you know, basically just calling everybody in that neighborhood and trying to, you know, generate some business that way. Uh, obviously, I do cold calling whenever I run across an expired which is uh, few and far between in our area right now, um, which is, you know, usually an eight-week program. I usually send them four letters, and I basically call them, you know, or, or try to get a hold of them for eight weeks, and then I put them on another trip campaign, you know, for once a quarter, forever, you know, yeah. as long as I keep them in my system, you know. Uh, I just, uh, you know, I... I I guess I'm, I'm trying, I want to get away from the expireds as being a main source of uh, business because every expired I visit with now has been called by 800 plus people. Um, and um, and I'm, just, I'm just searching for a way to make that better, okay? Yeah. And, um, you know, and, I, and I, like I said, I was intrigued by, you know, looking look at some of your web, webinars and what you do and, um, you know, kind of, you know, the way you, you know, express that you model your business. Mm-hmm. And um, so that's was the gist of my reaching out to you. Sure. So, so what, so how can I help you? Well, I, I, I guess, I, I, are you, are you, are you a one man show? Do you have a team? No, just, you, it's just me. Just you, huh? Okay. Are, are you guys, uh, I mean, do you do you work expired? Are you just mainly are you just mainly a circle prospecting type person, uh, cultivating that uh, relationship like you talk about on your uh, uh, your your webinars or your uh, YouTube? I've tried everything, but everything was short lived except for the circle prospecting, and that's all I've done hardcore. That's how my whole that's how I did my whole business. It's it's the most efficient it's the most efficient thing in real estate. Voice to voice contact with property owners, develop long term relationships for business now and later. You know, when somebody when somebody comes along and shows me something better, then I'll do it. Well, I don't think there is anything. I don't think there's a magic pill out there, but I mean, I, that's my that's my my opinion. Um, yeah. Um, so. I guess I'm looking for, you know, advice from you, and basically, in the way that you do your business on a daily basis. Mm. Like I said, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm bright enough to realize I can say, okay, I can grab Eagle Glen subdivision over here, and I could, uh, you know, start, you know, reaching out to them on a daily basis, trying to build relationships. Yeah. Um, I guess maintaining that relationship thing with them. Yeah. You know, once I've contacted them, you know, I don't want to contact them, you know, uh, like everybody else and their brother out here saying, you know, I want to know if you're ready to sell your house. Yeah, that's um, that. everybody says that. Everybody and their brother's doing that. And, and, right. I, and I'm not like that. Um, yeah. I believe that. I believe that you have to be more real in the business because I don't believe, believe there is uh, you know, the best real estate agent in the world, like they all say. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, uh, I guess I'm looking for avenues or, you know, what's the the best way to approach these people, you know, other than, you know, just, you know, establishing rapport and determining, you know, 
you know, what kind of likes or dislikes, and you know, it's trying to build some kind of bond with these folks. You know, it's just, and I don't believe, like I said, I don't believe there's a magic pill. I know, I know relationships, and and that kind of thing is what it's all about. You know, I've been doing. I, I, I'm fairly good at what I do. I just want to be better. Yeah. Yeah, well I can show you a new way, and I can show you how to be more efficient, I can show you how to really go deep with the relationships, as in, I don't care if you buy or sell today, tomorrow, next year, or ever, I just wanna be there if you when you do decide that, it, that you do wanna buy, buy or sell something, um, you know, and build a reputation around being like that, instead of being uh, building a reputation around somebody who's just trying to do deals all the time, and you know through that people will be drawn to you and they just want to do business with you well that uh you know it's it's something that uh i wouldn't have wasted your time if i didn't you know feel like you had something good good to teach so, yeah uh, for sure i'll take a i'll take a look at your stuff i appreciate you taking the, taking a few minutes out of your day to call me back you know, yeah i uh I'll, uh, I'll, I'll email you back all the information here in a minute. I'm pulling up to my office. I'll, I'll email you the information, that way you got it. And then just reach back out with any questions. I'll be you know glad to answer. I appreciate your time, Rick. Yeah, man. Enjoy it. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.